Skate Diaries. Hi, and welcome back to Skate Diaries. I'm Lucy from Girl Scroll, and today we're going to teach you how to stand on a board in four easy steps. This is best practice with a friend. If you're alone, you can set your board in the grass or dirt where it stables itself. If you would like, I would recommend adding on knee pads, a helmet, or anything to make yourself feel safe. This is a total beginner lesson. In order to stand on the board, you need to know what your dominant front foot is. Mine is my right foot, so I'm goofy. If you're a left foot, it means you're regular. If you don't know how to figure this out, try to lean forward and see what foot you naturally fall on, and that will be your dominant foot. This is the foot we're gonna be doing 99% of what we're doing on a board today, so make sure you stretch and feel comfortable before we start. Step number one is best friends. What we mean by that is our two feet should start right next to each other. They're best friends, they're inseparable. The reason for this is it makes you safest when you're standing up on the board for the first time. So if your foot is too far back, what we see naturally is when you go to stand up on the board, your weight is gonna shift backwards. If you're too far forward, if you stand up on your board, your weight will shift usually forward. If you start with your feet perfectly together, it's a lot easier to go up and down on the board. So step number one, best friends. Step number two is UFO alien spaceship. So you wanna pretend there's a magical UFO over your head and there's a light shining and you wanna go into space cause space is freaking rad. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna pretend that you need to stay in this beautiful ray of light that is coming down to bring you up to space. This is what we don't wanna see, stepping out of the ray of light. So the big difference is that you're gonna see my hips shift to the side of the board. What we'd like to see is the wheels, your hips, your shoulders, all in one straight line. If you can keep this straight, you will go to space and you will skate. <laughs> Step number three is by far the most important. I want you to think about this before you go to sleep. Nose to nose. What that means is the nose of your skateboard should be aligned with the nose of your face. What this does is keeps your weight forward and your head forward. This is the safest way to learn to skate as a beginner. What we don't wanna see is if you stand up and your nose shifts in the middle of your board. That's when we see people fall back. So in every moment, we want you to remember, nose to nose. So step number one is best friends. Step number two is alien UFO spaceship. And step number three is nose to nose. Step number four is... <laughs> step number four, I was trying to keep you on a cliffhanger, but we wanna keep our feet behind the bolts. What does this look like? When you're going up and down on the board, you wanna keep your feet behind these little bolts that you're gonna see on the board, right here. These, these bolts and these bolts. The reason being, your foot placement is gonna decide the entire experience on a board. If your feet are too far forward or too far back, the board will not work correctly. So when we're going up and down and we're staying nose to nose, best friends, UFO, we're keeping our feet behind these bolts. With these four steps, you should know how to stand on your board. As an ex-ballerina and somebody who just likes to know where my body is, it's really helpful to have these simple tips to know where your body weightman should be placed when you're learning. The next steps, kick pushing, carving, and beyond. I hope this helped, and I will see you next time on Skate Diaries.